Hello everybody and welcome back yet again to Wolfpack Fishing. I am out here on the Lake Erie shoreline this fine Thanksgiving weekend with Daniel Snow. Hey everybody. It is a beautiful evening to be out and I am also out here with the man himself I haven't got the fish with yet this fall, Bruce Fisher. What's up? Bruce Fisher, he got into this two years ago with me and he is just got all sorts of goodies now he's hammering the fish Bruce has been getting mad limits a big fish this year glad I could finally fish with him tonight we're gonna get into him good tonight huh Bruce yeah, and, he, and I brought him a real nice Christmas present too now let me show you this let me show you the Christmas present his wife made me a lure and it is so cool looking I almost don't want to use it but it would be an insult to not use it let me get it here Look at that. Just about keep the tent, you know, the next step, Look at that custom chrome bandit. That is hot. I think that's gonna be a Judy fish. Fisher made that for me. And I'm gonna throw it a little bit later. That bones, right? Hey Pat, hey Pat, how you doing player? What's happening? We got Pat out here. Uh Pat just showed up. Pat, were those your blood stains back there on the rocks from last night? Oh, you know my fit. With your bucket on that, I call that murder rock right there. I thought those were your blood stains down there. No, right. This is my favorite spot right here. This is the only spot you could stand last night. Uh, yeah, it was. I okay. dude, I can't believe you guys. There was waves this high. Yeah, I can't believe. Here, I can't believe. You had to hide up there, and then just run down to get your fish. I can't believe you guys even fished here last night, bro. It was only these three rocks. I was. I wasn't. I wasn't coming. There's 20 people around the corner and they didn't come back with but two yeah. three fish feet. Yeah. Fish in the wind. It looks good tonight though, man. Yeah. I can't believe that water is just clear after uh It was murkier yesterday. <laughs> you can only see it down there about six inches last night. But it, like I said, you, the tide pool was so strong that it would suck that water down twelve foot. But you had some hogs that picture. You had some nice hogs, you know. There's a couple of Did you work hard there. for them or they come pretty easy? Really easy. Really, they came pretty easy. You Your see, big you ones see, to be close to shore. You, five, six you, as far the, as you, can catch. you see the flotilla. They were out there really close in today too. So, I saw a lot of people on my Facebook that were doing the fall brawl. They were all trolling out here, but there was boats that tried to come out here last night. They made it halfway down there and then limped their way back in. Because it, it's just a rollers push. There was five and six footers. Up yeah, there. yeah. I can't believe you got fished in that pat. Yeah. So what is this? What outfit you got on there for your promoting there, Pat? What is that you like so much? The old striker ice. You know why you like that thing? Because it makes you feel like you're inside. <laughs> is all I can explain. <laughs> Keeps you nice and dry and warm. We were out here getting hit with 10 gallon buckets of water and it just would wash right off. If you turned your head, you stayed dry. I went home last night with just a little bit of water up my sleeves. And that was it. And a lot of fish. And a lot of fish. The other guys that was out here and if I was out here in my brown Carhartt outfit, they, I wouldn't even have been out. I I wouldn't even. They have come were out. last night. They lasted just enough to get the limits, and they had to go. And then, I yeah. said, I'm staying fishing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. Hopefully, we get them to them good tonight, and we're not going to leave after the limits. We're going to stay and just catch some fish, have some fun. Yeah, you know? I don't see why not. It's a nice night. God, it's going to be a nice night. It is beautiful out, isn't it? Hey, you got people fishing the shoreline over here. Do you got any etiquette? A bunch of team or lures out fishing your ninety thousand dollar boat, Chris. Hey, hey, do you do you have any decent etiquette? You got fifty guys fishing this wall. Oh, we've been fishing in the dark for about an hour now, uh, switching baits. About forty guys out here only seen one fish caught uh that's it all the boats spread out there are a million boats i think that the last weekend for the fall brawl walleye slam there were a lot of boats out here they all spread out so there might not be a ton of fish hanging out here right now my buddy pat banged him out here last night but he was fish he was out here surfing i wouldn't even come out here in that but he saw that incident with that boat man that guy I don't know what it is, man. Some guys, they want to come trolling along with their planer boards right in their casting range. Like 40, 50 guys here. It's, you got to tell them they're in the wrong. You can't. And then they think you, like you, you should accept it. But 
Uh, that's not good fishing etiquette at all, definitely. But we're to that point now where it's, are we gonna fish the same spot or are we gonna move? Cause sometimes you stick around and boom, that pod comes in, you get them, or sometimes you move and you get on them. It's a real gamble, but I'm gonna switch it up here. Uh, last bait I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna hook up my old malarkey here, old faithful. This one always gets them for me, so we'll see what happens. Man, that's what I had. He just gave me a whack, but fuck, dude. It's like when you're walking through a tight space, you know, and a girl walks by and just rubs her butt up against you really quick. That's what that walleye bite was like. <laughs> you know, I was like, uh oh, there it is. Was dead both sides. So. Yeah. Oh, you check. You ended up checking out both sides. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I keep probably doing my homework. Hey, so. hey, when you go to the hospital, do you park on the east side or the west side of it? I'm on. I'm on. Oh, Bruce has got one. Hold on, Bru hold on, Bru hold on. Bruce has got a fish. Got a net. It. Is that a fish? Yeah, yeah. He just. Yeah, he's got a fish. Hey, I'll call you back if we get into him, Casey. Yep. Call me back. Bye. There we go. Bruce, I said you were going to get the first one of the night. That was the, I just bought that bait and that was the very first cast. Wow, Bruce. Good job, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Bruce, what bait is that? That is a uh, Emerald Shiner Smith. It's the clear bodies everybody's using. Everyone's throwing those clear bodies. Awesome, Bruce. Fuck yes. What you, what you throwing, Steve? Dead paw, Steve? All right. Yeah, Steve just lost one. There we go. Fish? Yeah. All right, coming. Was that on the straight chrome? No, that's not, uh, coconut candy. Uh, coconut candy. You ever put your net together? No, but if you try it, give me a try. I got enough length. That doesn't feel like it's going to be That's all right. Just swimming at me. Oh, that one will go 15. What's that? That's that one will go 15. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's 16, 17 inch fish. Yeah, so he just snagged one too. Oh, you just got a shad too? Really? That would be nice. The walleye start coming in. It looks like some of the boats are coming in closer now too, doesn't it? On? All right, I'm coming. Oh. Could you imagine the odor that those sh a school of shad puts off in the water for the other fish? They can probably smell the shad a quarter mile away, you know? Really, though? Like that shad smell would just fucking fish on the planet, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, they are stinky. See, like I would never hook up an HJ in a school of shad like this either. You, it would be hard to just get it down past them, you know. Well, I guess you could if you get cranked it down there fast enough. Maybe I should hook up Voodoo Snow. Oh, 
another an iffy right there. Now with another iffy right there. I don't know. It wasn't a hit though, it was just a dead stop again, like like I hit a rock or something, you know? But it it wasn't a rock because it was it was still out there 20 foot. If it was a hit, two hits on this, definitely not hard hits, you know? By the time you feel that, instead of jerking, just speed up the retreat. See what happens. Yeah, that's hard to say. I, I know, dude. It's hard it, to fight the reality. Yeah, it's, it's, I can't do that, man, you know? Well, got the point here. Like I said the other night, they were hitting two things and I wasn't, they just wasn't setting it up. I was just holding the rod tip high and just reeling into it. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I'm a hook setter, bro. You know? It's hard to fight that reaction. Well, I'm saying on them light bites, dude, you might be yanking it out of them. Yeah. Got him. Fish. It was the same feeling, and it was a fish. He's out there. He's out there. First fish on the Marvin, boys. Yep. That's a good fish. Yeah, it's a nice one. First fish on the Marvin. Holy fuck, that's a good fish. Right? Didn't it look weird coming through the water? He's coming in weird. I can't. Yes! yes. Awesome! First fish on the Marvin. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, you guys have got me convinced. That's a good one. Before packing up to uh, leave there, got a hold of some guys, tried networking around with some other guys at different spots, seeing how the bite was. And it's pretty slow everywhere around right now, uh, so we ended up deciding to stay here. And then Bruce caught that one, uh, Snow lost one ashore, Steve had one pop off coming out. <sighs> it's a little chilly out tonight. And uh, it's just a slow bite tonight, it shows you how the bite can really change. It's, been hot and heavy everyone's tearing them up everywhere and then you get a night like tonight a really south light south wind big change and just a few fish hanging out near shore uh seen the boats out oh there are a couple little flakes going huh Bruce? yeah so it's just nice like this is slow night really nice night out though only gonna get so many nights like this left in the year so you got to take advantage of them Enjoy your time out here, staring out at the lake, the nice sound of the calming water. And uh, hopefully I get that nice tug. I'm the only guy left here that ain't got a bite yet. I'm changing baits left and right. So we'll see what happens. Oh my God, wow. As soon as you said that, I caught the glimmer over Wow. There. Fucking bald shed right here in front of us. Yeah, I just got one. Yeah, huge ball of shad right here in front of us. Wow. Hmm. Boy, that's a nice eater size right there. That's a nice eater size right there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, start knocking them off the rocks right here in front of Come us. On. You're on, Bruce? I'm coming, buddy. Still that same one? Bruce, Oh, you just put on that solid chrome, didn't you? I'm coming, Bruce. Hold it, hold your, hold your horses. Man, I'm snagging shad, you're catching fish. Nice. Damn. Oh, it popped out right at the net, huh? Yep. Awesome, Bruce. Thanks, buddy. Getting a little chill too, Bruce? Yep. Yeah, that temp drop, man, that's for sure. All right, pink lemonade time. I think they're all out in front of Bruce right now. 
Yeah, they are. They are all out there in front of Bruce. <laughs> Both. Shatter over here with Carl. Oh my God, I got a double. I got a double, baby. <laughs> oh, no way. I thought my lure was messed up. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That's some chartreuse there, ain't it? What's the name of that color? Uh, Michael Lambert Custom, I don't know. Is that pride? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll go well with my motion. Did you hook it on? I did. Wow. You got to... You got to know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mmm, nice mouthful of shad scales with that uh, pinch of warm dirt there. Yeah. You're on, Bruce? Coming, you're, is your net ready? Oh, what you got, Bruce? I don't know. He's staying down, huh? Yes, he is. Bruce is 30. Damn, Bruce. Come on. Oh. Boy, that fish is fighting. You got him hooked weird. That's not very big. Oh, your line's wrapped around him. No, the lure's in the Oh, yeah, there we go. You know that one, it hit weird, and I'm like, did I just get hit? And I shut the hook. Excellent, Bruce. Number three. No, thank you, Bruce. You give me more hope again. There we go. Fish. It's coming. Let me do the old. <laughs> oh, they hit it on the pause, huh? Oh, I hit it as soon as I started up, but. Yeah. What'd you do? Just switch lures still? Oh, look at those eyes. That's a good one. What'd you get that one on? Marvin? No, crazy wonder bread. Crazy wonder bread. Looks like it's gonna chartreuse head. Yeah. Kind of looks like Marvin in a way. Yeah, it's got violet on it. That's like a a mix between a Marvin and a Wonder Bread, huh? That next up too. That's a cool looking lure, man. You see that lure he's got on there, Bruce? It's like a that's a cool looking lure. Yeah, I got one similar to that. Yeah, that's a cool looking lure. <clears throat> One more, we'll have a single man limit. Mm -hmm. When I first started getting into this limits or walleye, or what drove me, but now it's just just being here and doing it is what I really like about coming up here. I mean, it's nice when they're on hot and heavy, but. Sometimes it almost kind of sucks if you limit out really quick and it's like, eh, I guess we're going home. Yeah, you blew your wad. Yeah. Well. I said just having a nice night out on the lake, hanging out, bullshitting, telling stories, catching a few fish, working for them, you know, perfecting your technique. There we go. 
Yeah. Yeah? Fucking super slow, keeping it in surface. Really? On the surface, huh? Very oh, am I over you? Hold on, let me. Whoop. Super slow right at the top, huh, Snow? All right, I'm coming. Give me a second. I'm kind of frozen here. Well, I shouldn't even have stood up. Oh, yeah. But that Bill Lewis uh, lure got him there, huh? Oh, oh, oh boy. Here, lower your neck down. Oh, wow. We're using your net for the rest of the night, see? What the hell happened there? Uh, I had a hole in it and I closed it up, but I guess it ripped back open. So, seems like we're using yours for the rest of the night. I don't like those clear bodies, man. I'm gonna hook up something we've been talking about. I'm just, I've been talking about, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hook up, uh, no, I'm gonna put on voodoo. We fished pretty hard at that last spot. Uh, big school of gizzard shad moved in. They started trickling in, and we started picking up some fish. Some walleye came in with them, and we started picking up some fish, and then the gizzard shad got so thick. We were kind of just plowing shad. Some few fish were busting them on the top. But uh, it's really hard to compete with all those gizzard shad out there. You're, when you're just plowing them, you're just one bait mixed in with a million of them. But we gave it a go. And we left about 12.30, something like that. Bruce took off. We hung out, made a few more casts, and took off. And uh, Snow said this is the last too raw for the weekend. I might go tomorrow. I don't know. But we came over to try a different spot. Um, we drove a little bit. We're going to try a different spot. Lake's just so calm tonight. The wind changes, you know. It really kind of shut the fish down and the temp drop. But we was cold out. But we're over here fishing a different spot. Going to start off, give it a whirl here. Hey, uh, don't forget, you know, hit that like button. really helps me out. If you watch the video, at least take a second. Hit that like button, player, you know. And if you watch a couple of my videos, you like my content, I would really appreciate a subscribe. That would be fantastic. doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps me out with my channel. Helps promote my channel. And, you know, helps me uh, get monetized eventually here. So, I'd appreciate that. But time to get back to fishing. I'm going to start off. It's really calm here. I don't see any bait fish. going to start off with a Husky Jerk uh, HJ14 Shallow Diver. We'll see how that goes. And that's going to wrap it up for the night, folks. We came here. We gave it a good 45 minutes. Talked to a few other guys here. Didn't hook into anything. Uh, this is that voodoo pattern, by the way. It's pretty... Whoa, what is that? I heard that uh, one time or two, too. But, uh, you know, wind changes really affect the fishing, too, doesn't it, Snow? Oh, absolutely. Shuts it down, turns it on. Yep, shuts it down, turns it on. The wind, those walleye really live by the wind. Met up with Casey Powell over there at the first place we were. Everyone's been bouncing around tonight. We've all been networking, a few of us messaging each other, trying to find out where the fish were. That's where it really comes in handy, knowing some other guys in the game, eh? Yeah, network makes you a stronger fisherman. Yep, it does. It definitely does. So. That's going to wrap it up. It's pretty cold. Braid started freezing up. It's, should have brought a mono pole. It's time to start bringing a mono reel with me, but that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we worked hard, got a few fish, had a great peaceful night. Well, except for the incident with that boater earlier, huh? Yeah. I'll just... I know that got all the aggression out for the night early, you know. <laughs> all right, everybody. Hey, make sure you're getting out there on the water yourself. Uh, you're enjoying your life, getting away from work, 
you know you're not gonna be getting as much sunshine sunshine now make sure to take your vitamin d wolf pack fishing out